Hi crafty friends, this is Joy with Create It With Joy. Welcome back to my channel. Today's project is a really fun project using Simon Hurley's Jewel Heist Background 6x6 Clean Rubber Stamp Set. Um, I also colored it with Zig Clean Color Real Brush Markers for a really stunning card. So what I'm going to do is just uh, stick a piece of white cardstock into my Misty. Um, do take the foam out for these thicker background stamps, these cling stamps. Um, if your foam is in there, your top cover isn't going to close properly so it won't get a good stamp damage. So I'm going to stamp this all over um, a background piece, which is smaller than an A2 size card. It's about a quarter of an inch smaller around each side. And I'm on all sides, excuse me. And I'm prepping it with an anti-static tool. That way your um, embossing powder doesn't stick to any oil that was on your card from your fingers, that kind of a thing. And I'm inking it up with Ranger's gray uh, embossing ink so I can see that I have a good image. Pushing down a lot of pressure. Um, I have this paper stuck in the center. You can use a little bit of um, tape runner to hold your paper down in the center when you can't use a magnet for something like this. Look at how pretty that is. What a fun, fun background stamp. So I'm just filling in any parts that you know needed a little extra embossing powder and I'm using Simon Says Stamp Gold Embossing Powder. And I am sticking this onto my um, Tim Holtz glass media mat, holding it down with my Spellbinders tool in one and then using my heat gun to heat it up all the way through because this image you know goes over the whole piece of cardstock. So it's, it's easier than trying to hold it and flip it around. I love to watch embossing powder melt. I think it is just so, so beautiful. So now that that's all done, I am going to be using Zig Clean Color Real Brush Markers. The colors that I'm using are yellow, orange, pink, Persian blue, turquoise green, and regular blue. Uh, what I like to do is spritz a little bit of water off to the side and then I just use, I actually use my water brush pen when there's no water in it. So you can just use a paintbrush and then I have a paper towel and I lay down the color heavy in the spots I want it to be heavy, dip my brush in water and tap it off onto the paper towel just so I don't have a ton of water. For me, I just feel like I have more control this way. Once I dab that little bit of water off onto the paper towel, then I take it to the paper. This is watercolor paper. You have to use watercolor paper for the zigs. Regular cardstock is not going to work. So I am using uh, Bristol Smooth uh, watercolor cardstock for this project. So I started with the yellow at the top. For the first row, I did yellow. And then for the second row, the top part of the diamond, I did yellow, and then the bottom part, I did orange. For the next row down, I did it completely in orange. Now the row that I'm working on now, the top part was orange, and the bottom part is pink. And so this is how I'm going to layer down, and I'm just taking the water to it and blending it out ever so slightly to where the orange and the pink now mix, and where the orange and the yellow mixed, it makes a third color. It's so, so pretty. Um, I did make a little boo-boo. <laughs> I put orange at the bottom of one of those things and it was supposed to be pink, but I'm not worried about it because that's actually where my sentiment is going to go. So it was just I was super, super lucky. So now this whole row is just going to be the pink color and I'm going to add it to the top and the bottom part of that diamond and then just blend it in together with the water brush pen. Um, you could do this with a couple colors of each color family if you wanted to do shading that way. I really am just kind of a one color kind of person and then blend it out and shade it out with the water if that makes sense. So I think this was one of my favorite color combos here because you're adding the pink and the blue and where it meets in the middle is a little bit of purple. And so I think that's really a lot of fun. That is the Persian blue that I'm using. So for this next row, it's going to be the whole Persian blue. And then we're going to add turquoise green. And that will be the next color. 
and you guys can see how simple this is to color and then look at the design how the design comes through and you've got those white diagonal lines that really pop now on this white cardstock. I was debating on whether I was going to color those in and I'm really glad that I didn't because I like the contrast. Um, and then we've got turquoise green and then we've got blue, just the straight blue color for the Zig Clean Color Real Brush Markers. They really are a fantastic marker. I, I am not a person who watercolors, but this makes me feel like I can, so that's why I use them. So these are almost done. And when that gets done, now I've die cut out the word high and I used Pink Fresh Studios Adore Alpha Set. And I cut that out of um, gold mirror cardstock from Spellbinders. And I'm just gonna use the center part. It has a frame and a center and I'm just using the center. And then what I did for this background piece is I framed it out with a little bit of more of that gold mirrored cardstock. Um, and something I like to do as a little saving tip on cardstock like this is I cut out the word high out of the cardstock that I did frame behind this um, colored panel because you're not gonna see that anyways. So I'm popping those letters up on foam tape and I'm gonna be stamping a sentiment that says hang in there with Simon Hurley's Tropical Tango ink. Um, and that sentiment is from Simon Says Stamp Tiny Words. And I'm going to also put that, have some foam tape behind that. And then I add a few little blue jewels and the card is finished. Thank you guys so very much for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed this project. I hope that it inspires you. If you like what you've seen, please subscribe to my channel. Thumbs up, share, comment. Um, I'm so grateful for all of that. I do have some affiliate links below. It costs you nothing, but it helps me. So thank you so very much for using those. And I will see you guys shortly. Bye.